Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this piglet. This is really easy to make and only requires you to know how to do a single crochet, an increase, and a decrease. You will not need very much yarn for this project because it is quite small, about the size of my hand. First, I will show you how to make its arms, ears, feet, and nose. Then I'll show you how to do the rest of the body. If you want it to be about the size of my hand, I prefer a 2.25 millimeter crochet hook, but if you'd like it larger, then you can use a different yarn and a larger hook size. For this video, I will be using a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook so the stitches can be more noticeable. Now that's all out of the way, you can grab your tea, a cozy blanket, and let's begin! The materials you'll need for this project are dark and light pink yarn, scissors, a darning needle, and also a hook. Also a tiny bit of black yarn. To start off your arm, you're going to make an adjustable loop and chain one. And then you will do six single crochets into the loop. Once you've done your six single crochets, you're going to pull on your yarn to close the loop. Then you will slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. That is round one. For rounds two through nine, you're going to do six single crochets in each stitch until you get to your last round. So you're going to be doing this until round nine. If you would like, you can use a stitch marker to place so you know where your first single crochet is, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. Continue single crocheting until you get to round 9. Once you get to round 9, you can chain 1, remove your stitch marker, and cut a long tail. I would say about six inches and then pull through. You've just made one of your arms. You can make, you have to make one more for this project. You need two in total. Now we're going to be moving on to the ears. To start off your ears, you're gonna make an adjustable loop and chain one. Then you're going to make six single crochets into that loop. After you've made your six single crochets, pull on the yarn tightly so the loop can close. Now you're gonna slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. You've just completed round one. For round two, you're going to make a single crochet into the same place where you slip stitch and one single crochet in each stitch around. You should have a total of six single crochets. At the end of round two, you're gonna slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. For round three, you're going to make one single crochet into the same place where you slip stitched. And do an increase into the next single crochet. That'll be your repeat for round three. One single crochet and one increase. At the end, your stitch count should be nine single crochets. At the end of round three, you should have nine single crochets. And now you're gonna slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one.
For round four, you're going to do one single crochet into the same place where you slip stitched and one into the next single crochet. And now you're going to increase. So your repeat for round four is to do two single crochets and then an increase. At the end, your total stitch count should be 12. At the end of round four, you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. For round five, you're going to do three single crochets. and then an increase. So the repeat for round five is to do three single crochets and then an increase. At the end, your total stitch count should be 15. At the end of round five, you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. Now for rounds six and seven, you're going to do a single crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of 15. So for the next two rounds, you're going to continuously do single crochets. After your two rows of single crochets, you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. Now for round eight, you're going to start doing decreases. You're going to single crochet into your very first stitch and into the second one, and you will be doing an invisible decrease. To do an invisible decrease, you're going to insert your hook through the front loop of the first stitch, and then the front loop of the next stitch. Grab your yarn and pull through all three loops that are on your hook. So the repeat for round eight is to do two single crochets and an invisible decrease until the end. Your total stitch count should be 12. So once again, you're going to be doing two single crochets and a decrease until you get to the very end. At the end of round eight, you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. Now for round nine, you're going to do one single crochet into the same place where you slip stitched and do a decrease. So the repeat for round number nine is do one single crochet and one decrease until you get to the very end. Your total stitch count should be nine stitches. At the very end, you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. And now you're going to cut a long strand of yarn and pull through. You have just made your very first ear. Now you need two of these so you can go back and watch this again to make your second ear. Now let's move on to the feet. To start off your feet, you're going to do an adjustable loop and chain one. Into that loop, you're going to once again make six single crochets. And then once you've made your six single crochets, you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet. And then you're going to chain one. And now you're going to do an increase in every stitch around. So for round one, you had six stitches. For round two, you should have 12 because you're increasing in every stitch. And then at the end of round two, you're gonna slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. 
For round three, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of 12. At the end of round three, you're gonna slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. So for round five, you're going to be doing five continuous invisible decreases and then single crochet in the last two. And I will do that with you. So you're going to do your very first decrease and then right after that, you're going to be doing another decrease. You have two. And now you're going to be doing your third decrease And now you'll do your fourth decrease. And now you're going to do your final fifth decrease. You should have two more uh, stitches left and into those two you're going to be doing a, a single crochet. So single crochet in the first and single crochet in the last. And now you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet and then chain one. Now for rounds of five through eight, you're going to be doing one single crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of seven. So you're going to be doing one single crochet into the next four rounds. At the very end, you're going to chain one and cut a long strand of yarn. And then pull through. You have just made a foot. You're going to be making two of these so you can re-watch the video and make your second pair. For your nose, you're going to do a slip knot. We've been doing an adjustable loop. This time, we're going to be doing a slip knot. Now you're going to chain two and you're going to do four single crochets into your very first chain. Now you're going to cut um, the rest of the pink yarn, leaving only a little bit. Now you're gonna get your light pink yarn and I'm going to show you my way of connecting the yarns together because we're going to be changing color. You can change color however way, whichever way you'd like, but this is how I do it. So I'm gonna wrap my light pink yarn around my dark pink yarn and tie it like so. And then I'm going to get my dark pink yarn and tie it around my light pink yarn. Make sure to do this very tight. And now you're just going to tug on both colors together as tightly as you can. Make sure the yarn doesn't break, but make sure it's also secure. And now the little scraps of yarn, you can just snip off. And there you have your color change. So for the first round we did four single crochets and now we're just going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet. And chain one. Now you're going to be doing an increase in every stitch. So round one had four single crochets, that means round two should have eight. We're going to be increasing in each stitch. I apologize that it's partially out of frame. It'll get better after the after this part. Once you do your increases, you're going to slip stitch and chain one. And for round three, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of eight.
at the very end you're just going to slip stitch and chain one and then you're just going to pull your yarn through and now you have your nose for your body you're going to be needing your darning needle for now you can place it to the side to start off you're going to make your adjustable loop and chain one and then do six single crochets into that loop Then you can slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. For round two, you're going to be doing an increase in each stitch around. So for round one, you had six single crochets. For round two, you should have 12 single crochets. At the end, you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. For round three, you're going to do one single crochet and one increase in each stitch around. So the repeat for round three is one single crochet and one increase. At the end, you should have 18 single crochets. At the end, you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. For round four, you're going to do two single crochets and then an increase. So the repeat for round four is two single crochets and an increase. At the end, you should have 24 single crochets. At the end, you're going to slip stitch and chain one. For round five, you're going to do three single crochets and then an increase. The repeat for round five is three single crochets and an increase all the way around. At the end, you should have 30 single crochets. At the end, you're going to slip stitch and do your very first single crochet and chain one. Now for rounds 6 through 10, you should do a single crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of 30. So 6 through 10, you're going to do a single crochet in each stitch around. This is how it should look like. And now you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. For round 11, you're going to do three single crochets and then you're going to be doing an invisible decrease. So the repeat for this round is three single crochets, a decrease, and repeat that until you get to the very end. You should have a total of 24 single crochets. For round 12, you're going to do a single crochet in each stitch around. Keeping a stitch count of 24. At the very end, you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. For round 13, you're going to do two single crochets and then an invisible decrease. So your repeat for round 13 is two single crochets and a decrease until you get to the very end. You should have a total of 18 single crochets. At the end, you're gonna slip stitch and chain one. For round 14, you're going to be doing a single crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of 18. At the end, you're going to slip stitch and chain 1. 
For round 16, you're going to be doing one single crochet and one decrease. So your repeat for round 16, or 15, excuse me, is one single crochet and one decrease until you get to the very end. You should have a total of 12 single crochets. And this is round 15. At the end, you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet, chain one, and then snip a long strand of yarn. And then pull through. And that's how you make your body. Now let's move on to stuffing and stitching. You're gonna grab your legs, your ears, and your arms, and you're just gonna stuff them with a light colored yarn. You can stuff the ears if you'd like, but you don't have to. And now you're going to grab your darning needle and stitch the open holes of both the arms and the legs. We're going to start off with the legs, we're going to flatten out the body, making sure the string is in the back, and we're going to just place our legs to wherever we think the leg should go. So place both of your legs together, and then wherever you think your legs should be placed, you can stitch them there. So the stitching doesn't have to be perfect, it just needs to be placed wherever you think the leg should go. After you're done, you can just place the stitch through the leg and cut it off. And now you're going to do the same thing with your arms. You're going to place both of the arms on the side of the body and then you're going to stitch it wherever you feel like the arm should go. And then you can just snip it off. And now you have your body. And now we're just going to continue stuffing the body with some yarn or some fabric that you have. I prefer a very light fabric, but if you don't have any, then you can stuff it with some dark fabric as well. Now let's move on to the head. You're going to be needing your two ears for this, so you can place those to the side. To start off your head, you're going to grab your light pink yarn and make an adjustable loop. And then chain one. Now you're going to do six single crochets into the very center loop. Then you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. For round two, you're going to be doing an increase in each stitch around. So round one, you had six single crochets, and round two, you should have 12 single crochets. At the end of round two, you're gonna slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. For round three, you're going to do one single crochet into your very first stitch, and then an increase. So the repeat for round three is one single crochet and one increase all the way around, having a stitch count of 18. At the very end, you're gonna slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. For rounds four through seven, you're just going to have a single crochet in each stitch around. So rounds four through seven, you're just gonna keep single crocheting around, keeping a stitch count of 18 stitches. After you've done your rounds, you're gonna slip stitch and chain one. For round eight, you're going to do two single crochets, And then an increase. So the repeat for round eight is two single crochets and an increase until you get to the very end. At the end you should have 24 single crochets. At 
the end of round 8, you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain 1. For round 9, you're going to do 3 single crochets. And then an increase. So the repeat for round 9 is to do 3 single crochets and an increase. You should have a stitch count of 30. At the end, you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain 1. And now for round 10, you're going to just single crochet all the way around, keeping a stitch count of 30. And now you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. And now you're going to uh, loosen up your loop because now we're going to be adding the ears. So first you're going to slip stitch the ears shut from the bottom so the hole is no longer a hole. It's going to be slip st uh, stitched together. And you're going to place both of the ears on top of the head so you know where to place it. So place them on your head and then insert your uh, insert your needle next to the stitch where your ears are. And continue stitching on your ears until both of your ears are stitched on. You can stitch it however way you like, whichever way you like. I personally like doing it this way because it's a lot easier for me. I like stitching up the hole first and then stitching the ear onto the head. It makes my life a whole lot easier. When you're done stitching, you can just place the rest of the yarn through the ear, like so, and snip off the yarn. And now you do the same thing to the other ear. And now we're going to continue. Now we're going to start off with round 11. So for round 11, you're going to start decreasing. So you're going to do three single crochets. And then an invisible decrease. So your repeat for round 11 is to do three single crochets and a decrease. At the end, you should have a total of 24 stitches. At the end, you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. For round 12, you're going to be doing one single crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of 24. At the very end, you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. And now we're going to be adding the eyes. So to add the eyes, you're going to need black yarn and your darning needle, and you're going to be placing your eyes seven rows on the seventh row. So from the top, you're going to count down to seven from the middle, and then from that middle one, you're going to skip one stitch from both the left and the right, and then stitch it on to the second stitch. So down seven from the middle, and then skip one stitch to the right, and insert your needle into the second stitch like so so you're going to be going straight down from the middle and from the middle you're going to be placing two even eyes evenly on both sides of the head if you don't want to stitch them on you can buy um, some plastic black eyes if those are a lot easier I don't know where to buy them so I just do it by hand and you're just gonna knot them up from the back and snip them off. And now you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So straight down to the middle and 
evenly place the eyes on both sides. And once again, knot them so they stay in place and they don't come undone, and then snip them off. And that's how you do your eyes. Now for the next round, you're going to be doing a single crochet and another single crochet. And now you're going to be doing a decrease. So your repeat for round 13 is to do two single crochets and a decrease. At the end, you should have 18 single crochets in total. Now you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. For the next round, you're just going to be doing one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So for round 14, your stitch count should be 18. At the very end, you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. For round 15, you're going to do one single crochet and one decrease all the way around. So you repeat for round 15 is to do one single crochet and one decrease. At the end, you should have 12 single crochets. Now we're going to be stitching the nose onto the head. You can cut the little strand of yarn that's sticking out, the dark pink, but do not cut the light pink. So now you're going to stitch your nose onto your piglet's face. So the nose should be placed right in between the eyes below, like so. So it should be placed right underneath the eyes, right in between. And now you're just going to stitch it in place. If you need to, you can use a paper clip or a stitch marker to keep the nose in place while you're stitching. But if you don't have a stitch marker or a bobby pin or anything like that, you can just hold it in place and stitch it together. Once you have your nose, you're going to make your smile. Your smile can be either below the nose or on the side of the nose, like how I did. You can do it either way you like, but if you want to do it on the side of the nose, then you can just do it how I did it. And then once you get your smile, you can just snip the yarn off and tie it from the inside. You don't need to cut the strands off, you can just stuff them in because we will be stuffing the head anyway. Once both your head and your uh, body are stuffed, you're going to start stitching. So now you're going to place your head on top of your body like so. And you're going to make sure it's evenly aligned. So make sure your head is not crooked. And again, you can use a bobby pin or a stitch marker to hold the head in place. But if you don't have one, then you can hold it. And you're just going to be stitching back and forth. Uh, through the head and through the body to stitch them together. The reason why you have the long strand of yarn for your head is if you want it to be extra sturdy. So you can stitch both the dark pink and the light pink together, but as you can see I'm only stitching the dark pink through 
because I personally thought that I didn't need the other one. And now you have your piglet. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If there's something that you did not understand in this video, then you can go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!